Now to the third in our series of reports from Indonesia, where developing a male contraceptive is the new face of family planning. Ray Suarez reports. It doesn't look like much. Six feet tall, a leafy shrub growing amid the lush foliage of an Indonesian forest. But a chemical locked in these leaves could become a useful tool for limiting population growth here in Indonesia and potentially around the globe. To get to the plants, it's a one-hour hike or a white-knuckled motorcycle ride up a steep mountain path and across two rickety wooden bridges. The plant is called Gandarusa, and its medicinal qualities have been known to people here for centuries. Traditionally, its leaves had been brewed into an herbal remedy for stress, something to soothe the nerves. But people had talked about an unexpected side effect, reduced male fertility. Now, researchers in Surabaya, on the eastern edge of the island of Java, are drying the leaves, chopping them up, extracting the active chemical, and putting it in capsule form to see if it works as a reliable form of male contraception. There's growing confidence that this is a find that's eluded scientists for decades. A cheap, easy to make, over-the-counter daily birth control pill for men. Bang Bang Pragyogo directs the project at Erlanga University. Since 1987, when we began doing research using mice, all of the testing has shown it is safe, it is effective, and it has few side effects. So now we are undergoing testing in human beings. Doctors are especially excited because Gandarusa doesn't alter male hormones, but rather changes the chemistry on the tip of each individual spermatozoa, making them unable to pierce the outer wall of a female egg or oocyte. Dr. Diane Promesty is working on the clinical trial. Gandarusa interview with the enzyme which is located on the sperm head. The enzyme is needed to uh, perforate the wall of the oocyte. If the enzyme is not active or, or reduce the activity, the sperm cannot perforate uh, the wall of the oocyte. So no pregnancy? No pregnancy. Dr. Promesty and her colleagues have made another crucial finding. The pill's effect is not permanent. On average, men were fertile again just two months after they stopped taking the pill. Bang Bang says the testing on just over 100 couples has shown impressive results. We've done two rounds of testing on humans, and so far, no pregnancies have resulted. We are now starting phase three testing with 350 couples, and we are hoping we will continue with our 100% success rate. The third phase of testing isn't expected to be complete until the end of the year. If Gandarusa works, and works safely, there's still one important question. Will men use it? Today in Indonesia, fewer than 2% of men participate in contraception. Sugiri Sharif directs the country's family planning board. Uh, mostly men said that, that uh, the family planning is responsible just for women. They think that? Yeah, they think that. There's a family planning, oh, that is the woman work or woman responsibility. Uh, uh, right now we try to make awareness among the men that, that, that uh, family planning is not only for women, but it is a decision made by a couples, husband and wife. But Health Minister Ngang Rahayu Sednyangish says the low participation rate is because right now men have only two options, using condoms or getting a vasectomy. They don't like those uh, choices. But here if we can find a pill that they can, you know, just swallow and no effect to their desire? Yes, libido. <laughs> um, so I think they will be very happy to take that. So far, none of the men in the studies have reported a diminished libido. In fact, 36-year-old Pancha Aryansha says he's experienced a slight increase. He's an enthusiastic supporter. I would recommend to my friends that they try Gondorusa. It's easy and there are no side effects. He and his 29-year-old wife, Mujasri, live in one of the poorer areas of Surabaya, 
where many families have four or more children. They decided to take part in the Gandarusa trials because they already have three daughters, and they say that's enough. I've used birth control pills before, but I still ended up getting pregnant. So now it's your turn to take the pills. <laughs> Indonesia, with a population of 240 million people, is the world's fourth most populous country. So limiting growth has been a top priority for the government, and it's had a fair amount of success over the last four decades, says Dr. Sugiri. We have already changed from uh, big family to uh, small family right now. Uh, in uh, 1970s, our fertility rate is 5.6 per woman, uh, children for woman. Right now it's already 2.6 children for woman. It's, it's very good in, in terms of decreasing the fertility, but it is not enough. And the fertility should be 2.1. 2.1, you would, uh, that's replacement rate. Yeah. Even after that success, the population isn't expected to level off until it reaches some 350 million. And there's one other big question about how much of a role Gandarusa will play in lowering the fertility rate. Whether or not it gets the approval of Islamic religious leaders. Some fundamentalist groups are opposed to any form of birth control. But Dr. Sugiri says most mainstream imams approve of family planning methods if they're not permanent and do not harm the body. He's optimistic Gandarusa will be available in Indonesian stores as early as next year. He's less confident the drug will be sold in the United States anytime soon, since strict food and drug regulations would require years of additional testing.